All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's March 30th, it's a Saturday, and Tracker and I, as you can see, are getting an early start, <laughs> 9.08. I'm sick, or my allergies are really bad, one of the two. So uh, I took some NyQuil last night and it killed me, but it looks like we're the only ones up here based on uh, cars. I haven't seen any trucks or anything parked anywhere. So we're gonna go up and about Four days ago I saw three, four really nice bulls in this spot and uh, I'd have to imagine if they're still there they're probably shed. So we're going to go in, check it out, see what we can find. Alright, so we're at our glassing point and we see about ten bulls. I actually got one right below me which makes me wonder if there's more below me and on the hillside I'm on. I see 10 bulls all still packing and they're not very big. There should be four bulls up here that are pretty nice. So I'm gonna hike up this ridge and then take a peek off that side and see what we can see. Alright guys, so we've seen some bulls. We saw one of our big ones um, with that, that notch point in the back. And then we, what we did was, we didn't know he was there. We actually kind of bumped him, but he was far enough away. He just kind of walked uh, up the ridge and over. And then we got up in here and where he walked, we could see a bunch of cows, some small bulls, one six, good six point. I can't see him, but I know he's in here. And then that other six point is just off this side. I don't know how many elk he's with, but I think we just glassed up a brown antler. Tell me what you think. But I think that right there is a royal and a brow tonight. It's hard to say, but man, that's way up at the top of the mountain. But I think it might be worth going and checking it out. I think that that could be an antler and both sides should be up there. I want to try to show you guys how steep this is. There's Tracker. There's a, a ridge not even close to the peak we need. It'll go up, saddle, and then climb again. It's about a 2,000 foot vertical climb from where I spotted, where I was at when I spotted the antler. Plus I've already climbed 1,500 feet just to get to where I spotted him from. It's crazy, crazy up here. And 10 inches of snow doesn't help. Snow is deep. Look at my trekking pole. That's usually goes up to my hip in length. I mean, there's one of them. That's all the way up to the grip. Well, we've made it to the ridge line. And uh, that antler, sh if it is the antler I glassed up, I don't know if it is. That would suck if it isn't, but if it is, it's just about 150 yards away, just over this ridge. So we're gonna go over there and check it out. I haven't seen any tracks this way. So if he shed, it's probably in that pocket right there where I seen him. like it is an antler sticking out of the snow. The left side right there. All right, I just spotted the one side that I glassed up, looked over in the oak brush to the left, and the other side's laying their tines down. Tracker's going up towards them now. Find the horns. Find the horns, Tracker. Come on, find the horns. You got one, buddy? Hey, is that a horn? Look at that, boy. Good boy. What is he? What is that? A big old. Oh, yeah, a nice five point, huh? Look at that shed. That's nice, pretty nice little antler. It's kind of heavy. Good boy. Oh, you want your ball, huh? You want your ball, huh? Good boy. There you go. Hey, good boy. Look at that. Nice five point. The other side is right there. Dun, 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 dun. So pumped we got him. It's 
a nice five by six or something like that looks like oh no way it might even be the big five by six I've been watching I gotta just go look at the other side <clears throat> all right here's the pickup come here tracker hard part when you're trying to train a shed dog is you can't get any ATL so I put him back after we did our little thing and put him back how he was laying just to show you guys there he is nice dense heavy five point pretty straight on the uh, G1s and then he's got a cool little swirl to his royal pretty heavy he's not long deep Whoa. His main beams aren't super long but he's pretty heavy for not being a, a giant bull getting over to the one we glassed up trackies on him hey what is that dude get that horn is that a big horn hey look at that is that our big bull is that our big bull don't mess him up i'm gonna take a picture of that but pretty cool atl this is the one i glassed up all I could see was that Royal and this G1. Stay there. And pretty cool. It looks like this is the big, one of the big 5 by 6s A little bit of blood right here. Oh, yeah, that's him. Cool. He's a pretty nice bull. Kind of has a little, little crotch point right here then barely grew a sixth. But he's pretty dense and heavy for not having giant main beams. He's got good bases. Let's see if I can show you those bases. Big old knobby bases. He's not a super old bull, but got good genetics. Eat a quick bite and then put him on the both antlers on the exo pack and uh, we'll hike out. Can't believe I got that guy set. All the other bulls were still packing till dark and uh, this is what we ended with. That nice big five. A little bit of a six and almost a seven right there. Good heavy bull. One we've been watching.